Haddonfield's homeboy, Jamie Myers, the motherfucking Mad Hatter of Splatter. I'm still here. Horror from the Grave ain't dead. I'm gonna jump into some news. It's been a little bit, man. I've had a lot of shit going down. Um, let's start off with that before we get into the news, actually. Okay, I got sick. My lady got sick. Oh, um, some shit happened at work. Some fool passed me some counterfeit bills at work. Some dumbass fucking wannabe gangster motherfucker. So, I had a lot of shit going on lately, man. And I'm sorry I was away from you guys, but let's hope I'm back with it. And then my lady's been working out of town. I just, I've had a lot of shit going on lately, guys. So, thanks for hanging in there. Let's jump into some news. Adam Green finds director for Hatchet 3. He's not gonna drop names or do any of that yet, but he said that this person's the right man for the job. It's gonna be bad as fuck. He said that uh, oh, the fans will be happy. He's, he says he thinks it'll be the best Hatchet yet. And uh, I don't think Adam would let anything happen to Hatchet because you know, that's like his baby. So I don't think he would let anything bad happen to that shit. I think he's gonna keep it good to go. All right, and uh, let's jump into some Tony Todd directing a new horror movie called Catalyc Catalytic. Uh, let's see, what does it say here? Write and direct a genre pick Catalytic for newly formed production company Assembly Line Sushi Girl Productions. So that's what he's going to be doing with that there. And I don't know, we'll see how he does as a director and a writer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I know he's going to be a Texas Frightmare. Another something I'll be going to because I'm not on welfare. I can go to shit like that. Unlike uh, some people out there we know. Let's see here. Warner Brothers is currently directing a sequel to Beetlejuice. Yeah, we, some of us talked about this on Facebook at the start of the week. And from the rumor that's going around is it's Russell Brand who's going to be Beetlejuice because they, they loved him and Arthur, which I don't know what they love because that movie fucking sucked ass from what I heard. Man, that's someone who's on Russell Brand's jock that told me that shit, that it sucked. So, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Todd Farmer has been fired, and I think Patrick Lucier has been too. They've been fired from Halloween 3D. And I'm happy about this because let's keep it. Let's keep this in mind. These are the same people that made uh, My Bloody Valentine, a uh, CW love story. Todd Farmer is the man that sent Jason into space. So I am very, very fucking happy about that. <coughs> and uh, I don't know. I don't want Michael Myers going into space or going to hell or doing any fucking stupid weird shit like that. I want Michael Myers to do what he's been doing. That's why I wish Rob would do him from now on. But that ain't going to happen. So let's just keep our ears open and see what's going to happen with that shit. Uh, I think that Malika Cod probably saw that Todd Farmer was pulling some shit with Michael Myers and he said, no, nah, we ain't gonna fucking do that. We're not gonna fucking go down that road. And people say, I've also been saying the rumor going around is that Halloween 3D is gonna be PG-13. I don't believe that either. I don't think Malik would let it be some little kitty fucking bullshit. They save that for fucking Platinum Dunes and New Friday the 13th. I'm gonna do that shit to that. And speaking of Friday the 13th, the part two remake is getting the found footage approach, but that's like the well, that's like the new thing they're all gonna try to do. Like they found some footage of fucking Jason murdering some motherfuckers and yada yada yada, and it's probably not gonna happen. And uh, what's his name? Let's see, what's his dick face's name again? Cause I don't pay attention to dickheads. Uh, Brad Fuller said that uh, there is no movement of any sort on a sequel to their. Friday the 13th and he said that there's no place he'd rather be than in Crystal Lake right now yeah I'm sure with the real Jason Kane Hodder fucking his ass up and uh, in order for a Friday the 13th sequel to go down Platinum Dunes I mean uh, for Platinum Dunes New Line Paramount and Sean Cunningham 
all have to come together and to make this shit go down. They can't just be like, oh, we're going to make a new Friday the 13th. It don't work that way with Jason. So it's not going to fucking go down like that. It's just They ain't just going to do, do no more bullshit. Let's hope that someone finally steps in and says, you know what? You guys have fucked with Friday the 13th too long. And it's got it was it got a little wacky in the '90s, and it's wacky again now. And we're not gonna let you guys do it anymore. We're gonna give it to some people who give a fuck. And we're gonna let them make the fucking movie, because that would be what would be fresh to do. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm at a loss, a loss for words for Jason right now. It's that new game scene. You guys been banging that shit yet? Bang this shit. Martians vs. Goblins with Game, Lil Wayne, and fucking uh, Ty- Tyler the Creator. If you guys like fucked up rap, check out Ty- Tyler the Creator Goblin album. It's pretty fucked up. If you hate Bruno Mars, he disses the fuck out of him in that record, like, a lot. We ain't even gonna talk about Hellraiser fucking bullshit remake news because it's no longer in the works and that's a good sign there. Yeah, so Patrick Lucier and Todd Farmer are not involved in Halloween 3D anymore, which is good. Like I said, I think Malik just finally had enough and that's the news that ABZ ABZ Spike 7001 sent me is that uh, they're not part of it anymore, so... That's a fucking good thing. Let's see what else news do we have here. Oh, we're looking for news real quick. Who got that uh, exclusive uh, extreme edition of the Trick or Treat t-shirt? Who got that? Hit me up and let me know. I know I got mine. My lady got hers. What did you guys get? You guys get any of that shit? You guys even order from Fright Rags? That's good shit there. Oh yeah. Kevin Smith's movie, Kevin Smith did Clerks, Mall Rats, fucking Chasing Amy, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. He did a horror film called Red State. There is a fucking church that they they aren't having it, man. They're so fucking mad that this movie is uh, coming out. They're trying to do anything they can to get this shit not played. They're going to protest out in front of the theaters. They're going to do all kinds of fucking bullshit. And me, I love uh, I love controversy. So, you know, I'll be there checking that shit out. Anybody see uh, The Pack? It's a French horror movie that just came out. I just went and watched that last weekend. It's pretty cool. Uh, it got kind of hokey at the end, but it was all right. Let's see here. New teaser clip up on horrorbit.com from David Parker's thriller Cold Water. It will give you the goosebumps. So you guys need to go check that shit out. Cold Water. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think because I've been so fucking busy right now. I can't even sit down to watch a fucking trailer. Too busy making money, doing shit like that. Can't, I can't sit in front of the computer very, very often anymore. So this album bangs. I don't know if you guys are into this shit, but it fucking bangs good. Let's see here. ABZ Spike hasn't sent me a lot of news. He says there hasn't been a lot of shit going down. That's what I do. That's what we do. We're a team. He's like the Gale Weathers of horror from the grave. He finds the news he sends it to me i report it to y'all so that's how we fucking that's how we throw it down over here horror from the grave style bitches so no there ain't nothing on there either let's go back to fucking youtube.com baby get back into the psychopath tv channel there is a couple of uh a couple other things in here um, let's see here. We're just gonna do killer questions because there was only one this time. You guys, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, not doing killer questions anymore. I'm still doing. I'm getting ready to upload the ones I did from a few weeks back. I'm gonna upload those tonight too. So you guys keep sending the killer questions. That shit ain't dead. Still doing that shit too. 
Who do you consider, this is Dark Side Slasher, who, who would you consider to be the top three professional wrestling tag teams of all time? Uh, Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, these are my three. Tolly Blanchard, Narn Anderson, the Brain Busters, or the fucking Horseman version, either one. And uh, the third would be a toss-up. It'd be between, I don't know, Heart Foundation, Steiner Brothers, Team 3D don't get no love in, the, in this. I, I'm an ECW guy, OG ECW, I'm all about that. But Team 3D, Dudley Boys, they don't get no fucking love in this discussion. They just, they just don't. Um, let's see, uh... Oh, Hall and Nash, the Outsiders were fucking bad when they were tag champs. They were they were sick, man. But uh, definitely not Team 3E, so fuck them. What is your opinion on the After Dark horror film series, such as Eight Films to Die For annual series? You know, I've, I had seen some back in the day when the first series of those came out, and I wasn't impressed, but then lately... I've gone back to them. I was like, you know what? Because there, there's not really much to rent right now. There's hasn't been any good uh, toilet comedies or anything like that really to rent at the video store. So uh, I went back to the eight films to die for. And uh, I found some that are fucking cool, man. Like uh, Penny Dreadful was good. Uh, was it Dark Ride or Death Ride or whatever the fuck it was called was good. There's been a few that I found now that were good. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm just taking my time with those. Some of them drag on a little bit, but I, I found a little love in some of those films, man. So there's one called The Hamiltons. It's done by the by the uh, the Butcher Brothers, which is Andy Gould and Malika Cod. They did The Violent Kind. That's the newest one they did. But one they did was called The Hamiltons, and uh, it's a good film. You guys need to fucking check that shit out. It, pretty fucking sick and the violent kind is really good too it's like a biker horror film these fucking like ghost fuckers come and it's pretty it's pretty weird but it's cool man it's good to see Malika Cods actually fucking doing something other than Michael Myers to fucking get his name more out there you know I'm, I'm down with that anything the man can do to get his hustle on I'm all about it and go knock the nigga so I'm keeping good to go New photo of Kane Hodder from Adam Green's The Diary of Anne Frankenstein. And let's talk about that for a second because that shit's been getting rave reviews. People fucking love that shit. They said that Adam Green put it down with this Diary of Anne Frankenstein shit. It's uh, really, really fucking good. Well, that's all the news I got for today. I'm going to try to be back in a couple of days. Probably uh, Wednesday night or Thursday. We'll see the, if there's any news built up over time for that because one episode ain't good enough for y'all. But y'all ain't sending killer questions, so that's kind of on y'all. So you guys need to get back to me on them killer questions and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so I will be back at you. This is Haddonfield's homeboy. You know the deal. I'm keeping it real. Peace.